You're good. Go ahead. A Drop Around the World by Barbara Shaw McKinney, illustrated by Michael S. Maydeck. So I'm going to read this here, and you got there's some directions here in, in this, in what I'm going to read. So you guys pay attention, and then as we read, you can, you can follow those directions. Raindrop take us to the skies, teach us how to vaporize, condense us so that we can flow to places only raindrops can go. Cycle with us through the trees, underground, beneath the seas. Please explain the things you do, your special tricks and changes too. In fact. Some symbols shown in black would be most helpful keeping track. Now show us how you work and play. Let's tour the world, the raindrop way. Then afterwards, when all is done, we'll share your secrets one by one. P.S. Drop if we lose you, don't despair. We'll find your face on each page somewhere. Nestled in a cloud near Maine, in that drop, little droplet longs to rain. Though not yet big enough to fall, it waits with others still too small. Then adventure starts to blow on wings of wind. It's off they go. Sailing in an ocean cloud, moisture feeds the droplet crowd. So here we already have, have a location. We're starting our journey in Maine, which is in the Northeast part of, of, North, of United States of America. And if you can see, these little these little pictures keep track of those because at the end of the story they'll they'll be explained and you can always come back and and explore explore the story again with with those symbols in mind so let's keep going the journey leads to southern spain drop has grown it's time to rain it falls on the cape of a matador who fights a charging bull once more but luckily when red is waved drop is shaken off and saved it quickly sizzles in the heat, evaporating in retreat. Then off to Switzerland it flies, mountain climbing winter skies. The vapor freezes in midair, and magically a snowflake's there. Alpine peaks all powdered white invite the snow to spend the night. This delicate and airy flake drifts down on a frozen lake. One April day it melts away meandering its way toward May. Icy nights refreeze the drop, its solid state commands the stop. But warmer mornings let it flow, stop and go, stop and go. Finally, our drop of rain roars a river's glad refrain, free and fluid, flowing fast, free and, li free and liquid, loose at last. Suddenly the rhythms break, drops dumped into a man-made lake, a reservoir outside Lucerne gives Drop a brand new job to learn. Pumped and filtered, purified, the health inspector satisfied. Underground in a maze of pipe, raindrops now the drinking type. So the raindrop is in is in Switzerland. Lucerne is a is a city in, in Switzerland. And it's now instead of being free, it's now being used to drink. So we continue. It stops at a spigot, meets a dead end. What's beyond around the bend? When the knob is turned, the secret's out. Clean water drop pours out the spout. Drop runs into a trough head first, where cow laps up to quench her thirst. Raindrop races through the cow to glands that milkify somehow. Mixed up in a pail of milk, it's poured in a glass as smooth as silk, but slips from Heidi's little hands and forms the puddle where she stands. Puddle drop is warmed away like a helium balloon at play. Its milkness is left behind, vapor pure, it's been refined. Sunlight lifts it oh so high to serious clouds that fly the sky. Speeding south to, to desert lands, Sahara waits with thirsty sands. Sand dunes fold their hands in prayer, pleading for some moisture air. But like a tease, our drop blows by no, not a cloud stops by to cry. So now our water drop is going over Africa, across the Sahara Desert. As vapor, as vapor adrift at a lazy pace, 
Drop finds itself in a jungly place. Water, water everywhere. Rainforests have such humid air. The air is warm above the pools, but over land it quickly cools. The sudden change from warm to cool turns drop to fog. It's nature's rule. Camouflaged in a ghost, ghostly sky, it collides with a monkey swinging by. Drop gets a lift on a curly tail to a swimming hole on the jungle trail. Gravity pulls at the drop. Over the falls, it cannot stop. Lost in a mist of colored spray, that drop is off without a delay. So the animals that you see here in this picture, they're only found in, in Africa. So we continue our journey through, through the rainforest in Africa. Overseas, our drop is sped on electric flight in a thunderhead. Monsoon winds forewarn Mumbai. The raindrop army storms July. Driven down by wind with force, raindrop has no choice, of course. It floods a gutter, then the street, pushing people off their feet. It swipes a bike and swamps a car en route to an open air bazaar. There it topples a mango cart and vandalizes Asian art. Flooding drop flows back to sea, but in its wake leaves tragedy. Drop takes a dive like a submarine, an environmental life machine. It's needed by the fish below to fill their gills, to swim, to grow. Hypnotized by rolling motion, it's lured down deeper in the ocean. Weight is heavy on its shoulder, squeezed in darkness, drop is colder. Drop surfs a wave to a coral reef, reflecting color beyond belief. There it gently laps the sand, rocking back and forth to land. Australian children come to play by the water's edge this sunny day. They build a tower, sail a boat. Sea drop fills their castle moat. Do you guys like building sandcastles on the, on the, on the beach? I know that I do with, with my kids. Shallow water warms up quick. Drop, drop does the disappearing trick. Swinging on a breeze trapeze, it's off to meet the Japanese. In Stratus style, without a doubt, drop will burst its, its cloud and tumble out. Drenching drop makes gushy dirt, a perfect mud pie for dessert. On a mission, sinking deep, through the cracks it tries to seep, passing worms and bugs that creep, and animals curled up asleep. Avoiding stones and bones that block, it passes through some porous rock. How far down, it's hard to tell. Drop runs into a farmer's well. There it waits till it's hoisted up by bucket to a drinking cup. That swallowed drop is lost within, yet finds an exit through the skin. As a bead of sweat on farmer's nose, it drips off the tip to his working clothes. Joined by a soap and water team, drop hangs on the line and turns to steam. Drop looks east to greet the west. Pacific wind, winds do all the rest. Circling, cycling, drop is dizzy. Changing weather keeps it busy. Cumulus without a care. Where will it go? It knows not where. North winds quickly claim the cloud. No dilly-dallying allowed. Falling temperatures cause a change. Freezing drop starts feeling strange. It flaunts a fancy frosty face and wears a coat of crystal lace. It whirls and swirls in Arctic air and hibernates with a polar bear. Then much to our playful flakes delight, two tiny cubs are born one night. Together the snowflakes keep them warm, a baby blanket in a storm. Frozen land waits long for spring. At last it comes, a wondrous thing. Melting snow and sunny days, dressed tundra in a brilliant blaze. Seeping in the thawing earth, drop finds a seed and gives it birth. When buttercup is blooming bright, drops drops exhaled in vapor flood. Like Next it rides the jet stream express, a thousand miles more or less, to downpour over Yellowstone, which makes the tourist moan and groan. But each drop's needed to make things grow, since the water's wa since the water table's running low. Drop dissolves ingredients like minerals and nutrients. So guys, we're back in, in 
in the United States. Yellowstone is found in, in Wyoming. So our, our water drop has made a journey around the earth. And now we've come back. So sucked up the roots of an aspen tree. It makes a fast food delivery. It saves a life and brings relief, then escapes through a hole beneath the leaf. Evaporated once again, will it return? It knows not when. Condensing on a speck of dust, drop heads home in a mighty gust. New England weather brings surprises, water's there in all disguises, but cruising to the coast today, drop brings rain to Cape Cod Bay. The sun peeks out through a patch of blue before the passing showers through. Raindrops bend each ray of sun like little prisms having fun. They paint the sky with colors bright, a miracle of hope and light. Our drop makes a wish from the rainbow aglow, a hope for the future of mankind below. Let the children take care of the water on earth, conserve it, protect it, and value its worth. So there's the journey of our, of our raindrop from New England and around the world to Switzerland, to, to, to Africa, to Australia, to Japan, to, to the Arctic where the polar bears roam and back again to, to Yellowstone. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, that journey of the raindrop. And when you have a chance to go back and read the story again, you can see that, that here are the little pictures that we saw around or with all the other with the t with the words that we read it's called a magic show starring h2o so you can you can see here and you can read the different things that different pictures that were shown and there's there's two more pages that go with that so real quick before i before i stop sharing my screen i wanted to go back to a different back to where the monsoon was in, in Mumbai, which is in India. Let's see if I can find it here. So I talked about, I talked about how I deal with stormwater and, and runoff from the streets. And stormwater can be both uh, rain and it can also be snow when it melts. And when that, when that water runs across the street and, and the ground, it can sometimes pick up, up things called pollutants like trash or soil or oil that might have dripped from a car and it takes that and it, and it takes it to the river or to a creek or waterway and what you can see here in India they they and any place along the coast a lot of the storm drains go directly to to the ocean and here is is a storm drain or a, a storm a storm pipe where it discharges that water into the into the ocean and you can see that the water the water here is not it's not blue it's dirty and so that's that's one of the problems and one of the things that we're trying that we work to do each day is to try to reduce the the pollutants or the dirt that's in it, that's in the stormwater because that is causing our waterways to become polluted at times and so we work to keep the stormwater clean so that it so that it's not causing problems for for the fish and other animals that live in or, in and around the river so like the end of the story says let me get to the end of the story. See if I'm oh, too far. So like the end of the story says, let the children take care of the water on earth. Conserve it, protect it, and value its worth. You guys are the ones who can help to protect our waterways. You, you can, by, and the ways that you can do that is by picking up, up a piece of trash that you might find. When, you, when you're walking through nature's classroom, or if you're out on a walk, you can pick up a piece of trash and, and put it in the trash can. Where it, where it should go, so it doesn't get washed to our waterways. 